Well, this is kind of a real pleasure because usually if I'm at an art gallery, I'm showing and talking about my art one on one, one person at a time. So uh, I feel like I've got a bigger uh, audience than just a single person. So uh, a lot of times I post my artwork on social media and I have a hard time articulating the texture uh, of what it is that I, I do. And uh, what I do is abstract expressionism. Um, it's kind of like uh, speed painting. Um, I'm drawn to the discovery uh, with paint uh, and also non-traditional items. You might be able to see uh, cloth and things like that. Um, I add a lot of things uh, into my paintings. Uh, it takes kind of a long time. Uh, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. It's the idea of that I am throwing a ton of house paint on there. I'm using non-traditional things like sawdust, fabric, uh, reclaimed wood uh, you probably see up there. Sometimes it's flattened metal. Really anything that mixes uh, with house paint. It's kind of like the soupy paint mixture uh, that I do. Um, in this painting, this is a pretty big one. Um, I use a masonite panel. It's got like a sturdy base. And I, I started to pull carpet like you would pull canvas. Uh, and I would staple with a staple gun. And I was just pulling it all over. And then I also used uh, some fabric there as well. And there's like like probably two gallons of house paint on there. And then at the end, I added kind of the, the fine art materials that you typically think of, the acrylics uh, and the oil paints to give it that, that look. Uh, I also use like a palette knife or a paintbrush, and that will help me um, sort of expose some of those other layers. So this is that soupy layer that I was talking about. Uh, I use sawdust and grout, and it kind of helps me control uh, viscosity. There's kind of that dueling thing going on with the oil base and the acrylic based, uh, and that adds kind of a, a, a differentiating uh, texture. Just, just something unique, something different. Uh, I love to use a lot of colors in my work. Um, my work is abstract. Uh, it's not always using a subject. Sometimes I'm just kind of feeling it out, uh, and sometimes I'm fast and sloppy with it, and sometimes I like to dwell and, and expose some, some new shapes there and, and all that. And so this is a close up of that same painting. Um, and what you can see is I use a lot of fabric. Sometimes I overlap the fabric. And what that does is it exposes layer upon layer. And it also get, it gives this like grave rubbing effect. I don't know if you can tell. If I just take the paintbrush over it, it's kind of like how you would do a grave rubbing if you've uh, ever done that. Uh, my grandfather was an abstract expressionist artist. He was also an art teacher. Um, and what he did, he used sawdust. He used um, some different unique things. And I was pretty inspired by him. But this is one of my earlier ones that I did. This has a ton of tar. Um, this one uh, is a painting of a pear, which is pretty clear. My grandpa had a few pear paintings that inspired me. And so I tried to do my own spin on that. And this has uh, a lot of, um, it's got like dryer lint that I stuck in there and it also had like copper shavings. Uh, this one is uh, a, a picture of flowers. I did about 20 pictures of flowers. If you wanna check out my Instagram account, it's at Jason Racco. Uh, I used uh, some construction glue for texture on that one. Uh, in addition, uh, to painting, I've ended up doing a lot of reclaimed woodwork, like reclaimed wooden walls and things like that. And so I had some scraps, and I had this idea to do this like country-styled bowl painting, and I've used uh, barn wood for the legs, and uh, just kind of this like primitive bowl thing that I did. But it's got a ton of texture, it's got a lot of grout on there. Uh, this one, I don't know if you're familiar with the idea of sgraffito, but when I was a kid, I remember taking uh, a piece of paper and a lot of uh, different colors of crayon, and then you do the whole thing black, and then you scratch it out. Did anybody do that? Well, this is kind of like that, where there's tons of scratches uh, into that painting, and uh, that's something that I do a lot. This has got my daughter, kind of for scale, to show you uh, some of the size of what I'm working with. Uh, the reason I wanted to share this one is because my daughter has been uh, showing a bit of an interest in that lately. We do homeschooling at our house, and I've, uh, even though I work full time, when I come home, I get to be uh, the art teacher. And this is one that uh, she dictated everything I did. Uh, in art, you know, everything you do, it technically has a set of rules. And my rule here was, Annabelle, what do I do next? 
and she would say, she was like a designer, and, and she was like, I, I, I want you to put some blue there, and so it was a, a cute uh, little experience. Um, this is a really recent painting that I did. It's kind of indicative of where I am, kind of the culmination of it all. It's got the, the sawdust, uh, it's got a lot of grout, texture, chaos, shapes, all coming together, and uh, a lot of cloth on there. And that's kind of uh, a reoccurring theme throughout all my work. This is a close-up of that same painting, kind of different lighting on it, but you can maybe see that I did some cross-hatching on there uh, as well. It's got a little piece of random wood in the middle of it. Uh, again, a lot with the found objects, some palette knife strokes, uh, and like the oil paint at the end of it to give it that finish. And this one is, uh, it's a sunset. And it's got a lot of random objects. It's got some uh, bottle caps on there at the upper right. Um, and then that is a paint can as the uh, sun. And it has um, some paper that's kind of crinkled up uh, to give it that texture. And the next one is, it, you know, it's like nothing is sacred in art. Um, I, I put a smashed pop can on there. And uh, I don't know, I did that. And it has a lot of cloth on there as, as well. Uh, and even a roof shingle. But um, I, a lot of people gave me a hard time about that, that pop can. Uh, whatever. It's my artwork, right? So uh, it's an exploration of texture, shape, and color, uh, trying to be inspired by things that I see, uh, the textures that are every day. And um, I want the texture to be kind of discernible and thought-provoking, and the shapes and figures to be imaginative. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, thank you for letting me kind of do that gallery with 100 or so people. So.